Good evening, Sebastian. How is your work today? How much have you completed? Good evening, sir. I will try to get it completed by today. I have been sitting for many hours trying to complete it. Once I am done, I can review Lizzie's work as well and send you both the data. Well, you better make sure that your work gets done today. Furthermore, you will not be reviewing Lizzie's work. It's Lizzie who will be reviewing your work. Yes, I have given her the whole day tomorrow to complete her work and to review your work as well. But sir, you gave me the deadline today. How is it that she has time till tomorrow to complete the work? Also, why would she be reviewing my file? I mean, I am senior to her. Sebastian, I know this job is important for you. If you want to continue working here, you will need to stop questioning me. Did you understand? I am sorry, sir. Good, now complete the work and send it to Lizzie before you leave. Sure, will do. Now where is Lizzie? She is on a long break. In fact, she needs a break. Let me wait for her at her desk. Hi, Lizzie. I was looking for you. Hi, sir. I am sorry I took time. You look handsome today. I am happy, if you like it. And don't worry about being late. Take your own time. I will load more work to Sebastian and less work to you. You are so kind. You are the best lead I have worked under. Well, very soon he will not be under. You will be equal to me. Also, I have made you to be above Sebastian. You will be reviewing his work going forward. That will help you get promoted soon. I admire you each day. Hello, dear. How was your day? You look tired. Yes, I am. I was sitting for many hours to get my work finished. It was hectic, and I am not happy about my job. What happened? Is it your lead again? Yes, he wants to give me more work and expects me to be the first to complete it. Lizzie gets less work and she gets more time to complete it. That's not fair. Furthermore, I am more senior to her, but she gets to review my data. She deceives the lead with her smooth words. I can't bear this anymore. Why is God doing this to me? I know how you feel, dear. It's not fair, but let's surrender to God. Bible says, "Humble yourselves in the mighty hand of God, and He will exalt you in due time." These things cannot happen to you without God allowing it. Let's surrender to Jesus and humble. God has a purpose for everything that happens to us. I will pray for you as well. Thanks for the encouraging words, Jessica. Though it's not fair, I will humble and surrender to God. Truly, nothing will happen to me without God allowing it. How are you, Sebastian? Are you angry because Lizzie is reviewing your file? Do you feel like quitting? Not at all, sir. You are my boss, and you can do what you feel like. I am not angry. In fact, I surrender to Jesus. He takes control of my life. I don't have to worry about anything. Okay, continue your work. By now, Lizzie, I have a meeting with the CEO. I am going to talk about you, and we'll get you the promotion today. I am so excited. You are the best, and you look more handsome today. Hi, Paul. Please sit down. I have something to talk to you. Thank you, sir. So, Paul, I have been reviewing the work of our employees. I want to promote someone. Yes, sir. In fact, I wanted to talk to you about that. I want to give you my opinion on who should be the lead. No, I don't need your opinion. In fact, I know who deserves the promotion. Yes, I have seen the work of Sebastian. He has worked so hard and has had no recognition. So I have decided to make him the manager, and you will be reporting to Sebastian going forward. He will be above you. But, but, sir, I have made my decision. So you will let him know about this. You may leave. I can't believe what happened in office today. I am promoted as a manager. God truly lifts the humble. Jesus, 
Thank you for your blessings and mercy you have showed upon us. Truly you are our help and refuge. All glory to you, Jesus. Did you see how Sebastian was lifted by God? God works in his children, in ways we cannot see. Bible says, before honor is humility. Proverbs 15, 33 When we humble ourselves to God, then God exalts us in due time. Let's humble ourselves to God, and God will exalt us. God bless you all.